Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting problem today. There is no variables, x, s, y, and t. We have a really good problem. We need to simplify this. We have square root of a to the power square root of 2, and in denominator we have square root of 2 to the power square root of 8, and we need to simplify this a little bit. This is a really good problem for those who don't know about power, so I suggest you to to solve it with me. So firstly, 8 is a really good number because 8 can be written as 2 cube. Let's start with this one. And 2 cube is a really good number because we can write it as 2 square times 2. This is a better way to write 2 cube for us. So I write it as 2 square times 2. But right here we have square root of 8. So square root of 8. But instead of 8, let's write this 2 square times 2. We will have square root of 2 square times 2. In math, there is a really good property with this square root, because if we have a product, we can split it. So we can write it as square root of 2 square times square root of 2. And moreover, square root of 2 square equal to 2, because this is square root of 4. So 2 square root of 2. This is our, our simplifying expression after this step. So square root of 8 equal to 2 square root of 2. So let's go next. Let's change this square root of 8 as 2 square root of 2. What we will have? We will have 2 square root of 2 to the power square root of 2. This is our denominator, numerator, and in denominator, square root of 2 is the same, but instead of this square root of 8, I write this 2 to the power 2 times square root of 2. And right now I want to show you a really good two properties, two rules right here, because we need it. In denominator, we need this rule. If we have a times b, to the power x, this will be equal to a to the power x times b to the x. So we raise both elements to this power, and right here we raise this and this element. And in denominator we will need this property, a to the power x raised to the power y. If we raise this, we will have a to the power x times y. So right here we have this element, a to the power x times y. But we can easily bring one of these elements in parentheses. So, for example, 2 we bring in parentheses and raise to the power square root of 2. Take a look. We will have 2 to the power square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the power square root of 2. This is our denominator. And in denominator, what we will have? We will have a, or not a, we will have square root of 2. I write it right here. We will have square root of 2 to the power second, and we raise to the power square root of 2. Because if we raise this, we will have the same. But we use this rule right here, this property. So take a look closely. Square root of 2 square, this will be equal to 2. 2 to the power square root of 2 will be the same as this one. So this element with this one are the same. So we can cancel it. As a result, we still live with this, with this expression. So square root of 2 to the power square root of 2. So I hope you understand this step. So what we're going to do in this, with this expression? We need to know a really good, really good property right here. So for example, if we have square root and nth root of a to the power m, it will be equal to a to the power m over n. And moreover, we can rewrite this, this expression using this rule. It will be equal to square root of 2 to the power square root of 2. Or we can rewrite it in another way as 2 to the power square root of 2 over 2 using this property. And right now, let's take a look about this, this, this power right here. So square root of 2 over 2. If you multiply both sides by square root of 2, what we'll have? We'll have right here 2. We can cancel this with this 2. So we can easily cancel all of these elements. Which, we, which signals that we will have as a result 1 over square root of 2. But 1 over square root of 2 is our power, because we right now we simplify this power right here. So as a result, our final answer will be 2 to the power 1 over square root of 2. Or if we interested in this way, we can rewrite it in another way. We can write it as square root of 2 to the square root of second roots of, of 2. This is our this is our answer. Really good problem. I try to solve it maybe a little bit fast for you, but nothing hard. One, two, three. Three rules. And of course, try to solve it by yourself. Try to remember, try to learn this rule. It's really good for you. And of course, if your answer will be the same, it will be really good. 
So thank you so much for watching. Write your question as well. Maybe you will find a little, really good trick right here. Write your suggestion, comment, subscribe for my videos, put your thumbs up. It helps me a lot and it inspires me a lot to make a new video. So thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.